Hi, I'm Janet and I work at the Ben Franklin store in Macon and Monroe City and today we're going to show you how to make an easy wreath like these two here. They're for all seasons and they're fun to make and we're going to get started. This is an easy form wreath. This is what you'll need. It comes in 16, 14, 12 and 10 inch so you can use any size that fits your door. You're going to use burlap which is a 21 inch burlap or you're going to use a 10 inch burlap. You're also going to use ribbon of two different colors or any other colors that you'd like to use together. And we're going to get started. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to cut your burlap. If you're using 21 inch burlap, you're going to cut a 12 inch piece. And it has to be, doesn't have to be exactly 12 inches. You're going to take it and you're going to roll it and you're going to cut it in half again. So if you're using this, you will use the, the cut. If you're using a 10 inch cut, you're going to use a 12 inch also. And then you'll just need more of them. You'll need 14 cuts out of this one for a 14 inch wreath and you'll need 28 cuts out of this for a 14 inch wreath. Then you're going to also need ribbon and you're going to cut two different colors of ribbon and you're going to cut it 12 inches. You can cut it longer if you'd like but 12 inches is what we're using on both of these wreaths and it's approximate. So then you can cut your fish tails on the ends and if you do all that before you get started, it makes it go so much faster. To get this style, you're going to gather it through the center, like this. So when you get done, you'll have a gather that looks like this. Now you're going to take one strip of each of the ribbons you've already pre-cut, and you're going to gather those up just the same way. So now you have these gathered and you're going to put that right on top of that and then you're going to make sure you don't get it hung up on one of the prongs. You're going to lay it right down in the center and you're going to push the wires right over the top of it. Now you're going to look like you're seeing the wires but you won't once you get it all fluffed up. You're going to make sure that you go the same way. You're going to gather like this. So you're going to have one gather and you're going to gather this one the same. So you've got two pieces of burlap gathered and then you're going to have your pre-cut ribbon. I like to put the one that's got the most design on the top. You're going to gather it, lay it right in the center, and do the same thing. So now you've got two and like I said you can fluff it later. It'll look like it's all mashed in there, but it'll fluff up real nice. I'm going to gather. Gather that on top of it, and you're going to put it right in there. Very easy. It's going to look like this, and you're going to go all the way around with that. Tell your tail until you get to the other side. But now I'm going to show you how to do this one that has a little bit of pointed edges. You're going to lay your, your burlap this way so it's diagonal. And you're going to go from corner to corner. And you're just going to gather that up from corner to corner so it looks like a little butterfly. You're going to also put in your two colors of ribbon just the same way you did with the other one. Gather it up, lay it in the center, and you're going to make it the same way. Lay those down. So then now you've got a different look, but with the same exact cut as you did with the other one. Gather it up corner to corner. you gather that up in the center, lay it on top, put that in, and 
one more. Get together. Gather that up. Lay it in the center. And you're going to do the same with that one. When you get done, you'll fluff it up. And it'll look like this. And the difference in this one and this one is that we've used a tubing that goes with it. So once you've got it all together, all the way around, you're going to go back to where the wire is. And you can see the wire here. And you're going to cut a piece of tubing the size that you want. You can have one loop, two loops, three loops, whatever you want to do it. You can have the ends hanging out, whichever size. And you're going to lay it down and you have these ends like this. You're going to pull it through one. And then you're going to pull it through the other one. So now it's going to be right underneath that wire and you can do it after you've gotten the whole wreath done. So it makes it a lot easier. Trim it off, tie knots in it, whatever you'd like to do. You can do this with lots of different colors of burlap, and you can do it also with all different color seasonal ribbon. Very simple to do, and I think it makes great gifts, and you'll enjoy doing them. They're very fast and easy. So you can see by gathering your burlap in two different ways, you get two different styles of Reese, and I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm Janet from Wavering Ben Franklin. Thank you.